Welcome everyone to a brand new series, Cthulhu Realms. Cthulhu Realms actually just came out yesterday. I'm recording this on June 2nd. It came out on June 1st. I got it in the Humble Monthly Bundle or Humble, Bundi, Humble Bundle Monthly, whatever it's called, the monthly thing where you pay 12 bucks and you get like six, seven games, something like that. It's really cool. This was my first time doing it and I've been really happy with it. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that another time, but for now, we're here to play Cthulhu Realms. Now, what is Cthulhu Realms, you might ask? Cthulhu Realms is a deck building card game. It is actually a physical card game that you can go buy. Um, it's kind of a successor to Star Realms, and you'll probably see an ad for Star, Realm, Star Realms pop up here. Here it is, Star Realms Online, learn to play, meet the creators, blah, blah, blah. So Star Realms is a sci-fi version of this game. Now, they, they do play differently. They're not like literally just a reskin. There's also Hero Realms. I have not heard of that one. Oh, it's on Kickstarter. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I like that fantasy theme better than the Cthulhu uh, Lovecraftian theme, but I do really like this Cthulhu theme. So it's a, it's a deck building game. Um, and the, probably the most common, most well-known deck building game is Dominion. It's not quite the same as Dominion. Um, and let's just jump into it. I really debated on what to do for this series to start it off. I think we're just going to go with the campaign because I'm really interested in knowing what the campaign is. I think there's actually a story to it. So let's get going. Uh, chapter select, chapter one. Infernal Revenue. Oh, instead of internal revenue. I like the pun. You are Blaine Carver, special auditor for the newly formed Internal Revenue Service. It's your second day. You and your team have been assigned to investigate the offices of Providence shipping magnate Jacob Blessington. Despite having wealth beyond the dreams of avarice, Mr. Blessington last year paid only $14 in income tax. <laughs> That'd be nice. The train to Providence is uneventful, though gloomy and weirdly moist. Providence is similarly dank. Your team arrives at the main office of the Blessington Shipping Company, a large building that spans the shoreline next to a particularly angry ocean. Of course it's next you to an angry the ocean. warehouse and are confronted by several dock workers. Their dead-eyed stare is unnerving, but you're oh, here to collect taxes and will brook no interference. There is a low hum in the air. You decide to address the men in your sternest tone. What could go wrong? You know, there's one thing I've found with Lovecraftian-styled games. The writing is always really on par, but the voice acting is always really good. That was really well done. I'm really impressed with that. All right, let's go. I have no clue how I'm supposed to treat this as a story. So... Here's the game. All right, he's, is he going first? Oh yeah, he went first. Okay, I hadn't played a game yet where the computer went first. So basically it's Blaine Carver, ironically, um, spelled differently, but still, uh, versus the dock workers. Now basically here's my first hand of five cards. Uh, he drew his hand of five cards. Basically the gist of the game is we buy these cards in the middle to then draw them later and use them. Um, and that's basically what it amounts to. Uh, the cards, we can take a look at them. This is a, a, some of these cards are just, the cards you start off with, rather, are the basic cards you can get. Uh, this just gives you one, uh, what's it called? One conjuring power. This gets you two conjuring power or one insanity, or rather minus one insanity, and that's minus one against your opponent. The goal of this game, I didn't explain that yet, is to get your opponent's sanity to zero, and then you kill them. Basically, it's their life. You know, th this game, if I have one gripe about this game and it's a necessary thing, it's that the terminology gets confusing because they change the terminology to fit the theme, which is fine, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. So we got, instead of cost, we have conjuring power or conjuring cost, whatever. Um, and then we've got insanity or sanity. Uh, then we've got, whoops, then we've got some uh, goons who uh, just do minus one insanity and oh, and then another initiate and another follower. So right now we're basically just gonna play all the cards. And what's great about playing this on the computer is it's really easy to know what you can and can't do. Uh, so for instance, the cards that are highlighted in green, there's something extra I can do with those. In this case, it's this top left symbol here is telling me I can choose between two conjuring power or minus one insanity. Well, I have two conjuring power. I could get up to six. Now I have to look and see, is there anything up here that I'd want to get six points for? And I really think I'd actually like this MU Medical Staff. I really like this card because you play it and you get minus two insanity against your opponent, plus four, uh, 
sorry, minus two sanity against your opponent and plus four sanity towards you, which is nice. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use both of these. Um, I'll have one left over extra, uh, but we'll go ahead and purchase that one. And then we need to, we have one minus one uh, sanity to send over. So just like this part's kind of like Hearthstone, how you're attacking the, the, the enemy, you're attacking the dock workers. Now you'll notice the initiates now have a red glow around them. Basically what that means is there's an extra item I could do with this, but it involves trashing that card. Or in this case, it's called abjuring the card. Uh, I want to keep those cards though for now. So let's end the turn. Now, one thing you need to know about me with my deck building style is I'm probably going to try and go for this uh, Dagon up here pretty quick because it can abjure or trash cards, other cards. And I like keeping a nice tidy deck. So I really want that card. Uh, let's just go ahead and play all. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough to get it this time. Um, so let's look at the four. What was the, what color card did I get last time? A purple. The, the uh, There's one more thing on these cards to look at. See how this one has that little purple icon up in the top left? That means if you have already played a purple card, you draw a card and then you abjure one, I think. Or no, oh no, that's a, this. Oh, my bad. You draw a card if you have played a purple card and abjured a card on this turn. Um, this, so the symbols take a little bit of getting used to. The beautiful thing about this is everything is written out over here for you. So it says draw a card if purple in play and card was abjured. It's pretty simple when you can read it. So that was a purple. So I need to know that purple is a good thing for me to get. Um, however, I only have four. Oh, and there's one more thing that's pretty cool. I'm going to end up getting this one, I think, because this one is a location card. Location cards are cool because they stay in play until until the enemy attacks them. Uh, so I'm going to attack him for one and end the turn. I've been playing a bit against hard AI. I played the easy AI once and I was just, it was utterly boring. I've won against the hard AI once and then lost two, two, three times, I think. Or at least lost to the point of where I gave up. So here's a good instance where we need to really look at our cards because we have two purples. This one does not benefit from having a purple played before it. This one does. Now, we're probably not going to abjure a card this time, although maybe, no, I doubt it. Um... So we're going to play the location. Now the location comes down here. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's wait. What can we do with this? Oh, we can choose either heal two or get to um, conjuration power. Uh, so let's pull these up here just to see. Go ahead and get him up there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play all of them. That's fine. So we've healed a bit. That's good. Um, okay, he can't do anything. I've got three and minus two. Uh, this could get me five. Ooh, I'd like another MU medical staff, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. I like those because they heal, which is really nice to have. So let's go ahead and attack and end the turn. <clears throat> mm. Good coffee tonight, fellas. Good coffee. All right. All right. Nothing fancy this time. Just some regular cards. I really need to get something that can destroy the... Um, these basic cards. Uh, I could get four or minus three sanity to him. This is actually a cool card that I've gotten in the past. Um, if you have, if you have a town or sorry, a location, you get minus five. Otherwise you're able to discard a card, which why would you want to discard a card? You ask, well, some cards require you to discard a card before you can use their item or their action, which is pretty cool. Um, but I don't think I want any of those cards that I can afford. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, attack for three and buy an initiate. Uh, the beauty, or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this initiate. I'm going to trash this one so that I can attack for another one and buy this initiate. The initiate, uh, you can abjure it and get an extra um, point of attack, which is nice. Oh, I missed something down here. I could have done my bad. Oh, he could have given me two more. Oh, I could have had the uh, the Dagon. Oh, and he just got the Dagon. Dadgummit. You always got to watch to make sure that nothing's like glowing green, man. Oh, that really stinks. Uh, just play everything. All right, there's nothing up here now that can abjure. I've got two and negative three. There's no towns up here. I really like towns. Mm-hmm. That guy healed us a good bit. So this can get us to four. This can get us to six. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to get this medical student. Yep, I'm going to get the medical student. And then I think I'm going to get this guy right here. The Migo. 
It's minus four and then minus two as well if you've played a green card already, which I don't have many green cards, I don't think, but I'm mostly purple in this deck. Um, actually, we can look at our deck and see. Yeah, yeah, mostly purple. I'll start getting greens as well. Uh, let's go ahead and trash this baby to get an extra attack. And the reason we're doing that is we want to thin out the deck. Like, that's an okay card, um, but it's not the best. I could also trash this card and get minus five, but I really don't want to do that. I like being able to... This thing heals me, or could possibly heal me, heal me every time. Oh, and now I can use this to draw a card. Nice. That's not really going to benefit me any, except I'm not... Except I'll be able to not have that in my next hand, because I don't like these, because they're weak. Um, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, in turn. Okay, man, he's got a lot to buy. All right, there's an Abjure. That's Yithium. Mm. Yeah, we can definitely afford that this time. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and play all. Excellent. Our healing is helping m magnificently. I love the medical staff and the medical students. Uh, so we're going to want to get Yithian. Yes. Yeah, let's get Yithian. I know that's what I want to do with that. Let's go ahead and use this to heal. And then we'll attack for three. Beautiful. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, in turn. All right, what's our next hand looks lo look like? Okay, good. Good, we got two medical, a medical staff and a medical student. That's fantastic. Our health is out the wazoo. I, I noticed from playing um, uh, that healing is very, very important. The AI tends to do that a lot on hard. Uh, so this one, in order to get an extra card, I would have to play a purple before this and abjure a card before this. I'm not going to do that. But this one will give me extra or negative sanity to more attack. That's that's the problem with the terminology is it's weird to phrase it the right way. So I'm probably just going to use the term attack and heal, even though that's not what it is. So we need to do medical staff first and then medical student. Nice. And then we're going to play all that puts us up to four and we could get more attack. Or I could get, I could get up to eight and we could get Dean Halsley, Halsey, which is, oh, he's healing. Oh, dude, he's pretty sick. And then there's this guy, which does attack, which would be nice to have. I don't have a ton of attack and he gets an extra card. If you have a town and I've had a town, I'd like, I need to get another town or location. Sorry, location. Um, so let's do that. We're going to do both of those purchase the unspeakable one and then attack beautiful oh i'm so glad this first game is going so well <laughs> i lost like all my losing games were like right up until i started recording just playing on my ipad that's the other cool thing about this when you upgrade uh, if you look at this game on steam i forgot to mention this game is on steam it's also on ios and i think android don't quote me on that um go ahead and play all this is a pretty simple hand um uh, mm, I don't think there's anything I want to buy. I think I'm just going to attack this time and buy something simple. Because I could only get to five. That wouldn't really benefit me. So let's heal. What can you do? You can give me... Oh, you can ex actually give me extra money. I didn't think about that, but let's not do that. Uh, let's just... Let's buy an initiate and attack, because I can get rid of that initiate really easily. Um, so anyways, the game's on Steam, and there there's a free version. So if you want to play this game right now, go play it. It's free. Now, there's a quote-unquote DLC that unlocks the full game that I think allows online play and more than just the first chapter of the campaign. But otherwise, you can play against the AI all you want. The cool thing is, if you... Uh, if you buy the full upgrade that full upgrade applies everywhere you have the game so i have the full game on my ipad and iphone and all that stuff so it's really cool oh i've got a minus 10 sanity that's fantastic uh because okay oh good 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 good. we can abjure a card oh but i don't oh i don't you okay seriously thing you can abjure a card that's in your discard out in front of you or in your hand so there's nothing really I want to abjure right now. If I wanted this card, I might abjure one of these, but there's no real reason to now. That's a shame. Um, yeah, that's a that's a shame. Uh, do we want to just go ahead and attack for more? We could get up to five. That's not really going to benefit as much. Oh, he can draw a card. 
Let's draw a card. Is this something I can abjure? I could, but I can abjure that on, on its own. So there's no reason to do that really. So I can now get up to one, two, three, four, seven. Um, darn. That's really close to getting Dean Halsey again. Another one. That'd be fantastic. Um, oh, you know what we're going to do? Hold up. Watch this. Um, yeah, we're going to attack since we're, since we're on a whole big, thick new deck, we're actually going to abjure this one, get rid of him, which ups our attack to 16. We're going to up the attack with that. And then we're going to abjure that to up the attack some more. Now we're going to draw a new card, which gives us more buying power. Looks like, yep. Uh, this can just abjure a card that also healed me. Um... Oh, so now I could have bought Dean Halsey. That's okay. We're going to heal. We're going to heal. Um, we're just going to buy. No, I don't really want to buy anything, to be honest. It doesn't really matter right now. So I'm just going to attack, and we'll get him on the next turn, probably. End turn. Mm. No, we're not going to get him on this next turn. I got no attack cards on this next turn. Well, one can be a negative one. That's why you want to get rid of those followers, man. It's so important. Um, so let's... We're at four. We could be at six, eight. Let's go with... What does this do? If you have a location, minus five. It really doesn't matter because surely I'm going to destroy him before I do any of that. So let's just go ahead and attack for what we can and heal for what we can. Oh, he's got a location though. Uh, okay, some locations can can block you from hitting the enemy, um, but we don't really need to worry about that with that one. Um, if I see one of those, I'll point it out to you. Um, oh, you know what? This will give us extra. Oh, we we will get him. We abjure that card and we get extra attack. Yes, you have won in the game with more than forty sanity. Uh, win. Oh, did I? Wait, are these things I did? Oh, oh, I did this one. Win the game with at least three cards of each of the four colors in your deck. I certainly did not do that. Win the game after abjuring six followers and two goons from your deck. That's something I would have liked to have done. Well, all right. Cool. Well, guys, that's it for the first episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. This is a different type of Let's Play. It's not for everybody, but if you enjoy card games and and like the strategy behind them, this is, this is my type of card game. I love this game. Um, yeah, it's great. We'll see you guys next time in Chapter 2. Death and taxes. Adios. Goodbye.